What is coming on, guys? Today we are looking at Koscielny flashback. He is 100,000 coins, two SBCs, 184 rated team, and 185 rated team. No informs needed, which is always a blessing. But for me, a league on centre back, especially with not the greatest of links in terms of in league, I wouldn't say is amazing. He has got a few nice links, obviously, being French. He's got some good nation links, which is always good. But 103k, I just can't see it being worth it, in my opinion. Um, straight off the bat, anyway. He's a 79 normal. The flashback, I don't know why he's actually coming in. I've, I completely forgot to read the blurb. And then, obviously, it's gone now. But as you've just seen, we've got the walkout. He is from Bordeaux, 86 rated, 77 pace, 86 defending, 81 physical. Two star skills, three star weak foot, right footed 6 1 with a high defensive work rate and a low attacking. Personally, not bad. In terms of the stats, then, acceleration 77, the same as the sprint speed. I feel like it's good for a centre back. Obviously, you whack a shadow on him and he goes up to 87, a plus 10. So that, for me, as centre back, is pretty decent. Does go up to a 91 rated centre back. But the one thing that really gets me with him is animations. I don't know what it is. Every time he tackles, or at least in the matches that I've played, he was always given that second touch back. And it was so annoying because you tackle and you kind of bottle it off. It goes to their player again. And he does it again and again and again. And it was a consistent theme throughout the matches that Varane was doing it and absolutely nailing them, getting the ball. Koscielny was trying him for the tackles. And it was almost going back to them. Obviously not every single time, but a lot of the time he was doing that. And that is the most infuriating thing that he does. And I don't know if that is anything with his tackle animation or just the way he is as a tackler. Because realistically, he should be a great centre-back. 91 on the overall, 87 pace, 94 defending with 81 physical. Yes, he doesn't have the greatest of dribble, uh, dribbling, but it should do enough. 85 reactions, 84 composure. Agility and balance is a little bit shot, but he should have an incredible, almost like kind of presence in that role as a centre-back. Him and Varane together are a really nice link, but the problem is if you go right back, there's really no French right backs there. You have to have Larissa as a goalie because the only other goalie next is Mandanda. For me, I don't think you want Mandanda in there, especially if you are looking to go foot champs with him, if you're looking to go rivals, especially higher up the chain. It's just not going to work. So you need to kind of either then go Varane Mendy and then go someone like Sissoko, Pogba Kante. And it's requiring a lot more than just one player to link him. Whereas normally you can go get a goalkeeper, get a super link or a, a perfect link there especially in the French League it should be able to but he's a nice one that I think will be better for the future when we get a Kazawa in form when we get um, an Atal in form or someone like Verratti I, I don't know so someone in the middle that would really do well with a, a flashback a scream something along them lines so in the future he may have some better links right now it is literally just French players and that's all you can get unless you can get Mbappe and whack him as a CDM to link him that way other than that let's get into some gameplay and see how he did. So going into the gameplay with him then. We did find that he did really well as, as, as a centre-back in terms of his defending ability. Managing to get another tackle. Some of them really decent. Some of them really good. Passing. It was a bit ambitious going for that one. But I thought, you know what, we'll give it a try. His passing isn't amazing either. It's, it's better on the short, if anything. But I found like he was in good positions. Pace-wise, I don't feel like he was up to the pace really. He really just kind of plodded along sometimes and that is a big problem with a defender you want him on the action ready there we see him lardy dying too much yes my defending in, in this scenario wasn't the greatest so it led to a, a nice little block but really i shouldn't have brought Varane out too much i should have brought back carvajal who personally for me is not the greatest right back either but obviously at the moment he is the one that's working and you'll see a lot of them interceptions just being in the right time doesn't necessarily need to tackle because i was getting so infuriated with that tackle and then suddenly it goes back to him i don't know if that's more mechanics of the game or if it is something that he's doing tackle wise as really i've not had a defender have that issue too many times i've, I've definitely had it a few times but in terms of a, a specific defender doing it 
it's not normally one person it's normally the whole team if that's going to happen and it just falls out of luck but we did find himself kind of getting a little bit overwhelmed with pace you've got to really make sure that you're jockeying make sure that you kind of go forward with him and and really make sure that you're, you're calculated with his efforts you see there another great tackle he steps to him watches him and then nails him but anyway let's go into the overall and see what rating I give him. So going into the overall, let's have a look at his SBC. And I'll just show you the two teams that you have to use or can use, for instance, not have to, in this SBC. So we've got a pretty standard team here, a couple of 86s, Thiago Silva coming in low, Aspil Equator, Berkey, and then predominantly a lot of random low rated players. It's not a bad little SBC. Pack boys, just don't even consider it. It's really, really bad for packs, in my opinion. Um, if we go and go back to Koscielny, and then we look at the second one. If you want to look at these as a bit of kind of inspiration as such as to what ratings you need i always look at it and think well what are they using they're using 84s must mean that 84s are cheaper 85s are up there you want to see what you're actually using and use that combination to your advantage always definitely use your untradables first as well if you've got any fodder definitely definitely use them first but not a bad sbc i feel like he's He's an okay card, but I just think for 100k at the start of the game is a little bit steep. I've given him a 6.5 out of 10. I feel like he's mainly weighed down from the SBC price, in my opinion. He's got really good defending. Obviously, the stats don't lie with that. Physical-wise, is good. Is is up in the high average, I'd say. Pace-wise, again, is nice, but he doesn't... It's the animation, I think, and, and I keep going back to it. I think the animation is what's really slowing him down here. He is a 79 normally, and he's had a massive pace increase from 55 to uh, 55 pace to 77, a plus 22 on his pace. The animation is really just struggling to get that 77 out there. Even if he had 90, I still think he would struggle. I, I don't know what it is. It's just how he plays. But if you want to do this card, he has got nice links in terms of French. Um, Generation-wise, this one should be a good one. He is all the way in FIFA 11 for Arsenal. 76 rated gold common by the looks of it. Then he goes into the rares, gets a couple of informs, another inform, no informs, double inform, no inform, footmas to an inform, to an inform in Bordeaux, and then to the 79 rated card. He is on the decline. He is, how old is he? He is 35 years old. So it's a nice last card for him he's probably got a season or two left maybe at the lower division well i say the lower divisions at the lower rated teams in comparison to what he's used to but it's still a collectible he's a collectible to me that's why we've done every single sbc so far and i want to see how far we can go with that in terms of links like i say you it's the inevitable we've got we've had loads of french players ben yedder's next we've got loads of french players they are absolutely incredible links and to be honest there's no point looking at them in terms of in real life is he actually playing that's the question he actually is six matches one assist can't argue with him fair play to him being 35 still smashing it out in league and hopefully he didn't <coughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, button, and subscribe is always appreciated. And I'll see you all for the next one.